Well, you don't have to get a cab. I, I can, I can pick you up. Maybe she don't want you to. What? Well, we can manage. Right. Okay. Hold on. I'll ask him. You're right. Cope on your own for a couple of hours, aren't you? Just tell him you don't want him there. Yeah, he said he'd love to. It's fine. Well, well then, just I don't know. Unarrange it. Okay. Fine. 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 I'll see you later. Uh, hey. Debbie wants me to take that pink sparkle top in. Yeah, that's how I gather. Looks like somebody's out of favour. You're the reason I'm not picking her up. Eh? Hey? The garage. For some reason, she reckons you can't cope. What, and you buy that, do you? Get real, she doesn't want you there. And who can blame her after yesterday's no-show? <laughs> Maybe she's realised she's better off without you, eh? Hey? It's ironic, isn't it? They'd be wanting you to pick her up and not me. Not in the mood for jokes. <clears throat> I'm being serious. Look, Kane's right. You should have been there supporting her yesterday, not copping off with me. Maybe I just couldn't help myself. Not here. <sighs> That'll be my taxi. What's up? Nothing. Look, I know I screwed up yesterday. Yep, we both did. <sighs> Can you just go and get me the top, please, for Sarah? So if you weren't at the hospital, where were you? I told you I was out on a job. Out on a job, really? So how come there's nothing in the book? It was a recovery. It weren't worth logging. All right, convenient, that. Right. Look, when I got there, it turned out to be a flat battery, OK? So the geezer gave me 20 quid. Satisfied? No, not really. Right, I'll tell you what, then. I'll stick it in the book, shall I? And you missed the hospital appointment for that. How many more times? I didn't turn up because I didn't want to be in the way. Yeah, and if I didn't know you better, I'd say you were saying, I'm on to you, sunshine. <sighs> hey! Welcome oh, home, mate. missus. Be careful with her, she's feeling a bit sore, oh, aren't you? Mate, you've been such a brave girl, haven't you? Yeah, and now we are going to watch Hannah Montana on DVD. Hannah Montana? No way. That's my favourite trick of mummy. Let me uh, skive off work, eh? Right, I'm going to get going. Where do you want me to put these? Uh, just give it to Cameron. Listen, thanks for today. You've been amazing. Right, come on, you. Let's get your gym jams on. Mm -hmm. Hey. You OK? Fine. There for um, Sarah's line, if it gets damaged. OK. You clamp it, put a plaster on it, and then get back to hospital. Right. I've got it. Good. Can we talk? I don't think so. Why do you keep checking your phone? Waiting for a call from my dad. Listen, I wasn't being off with you before. I just thought you deserved a break. From what? Come on. It's hard enough for me to deal with all this, and I'm a mum. Hey, I'm here for you, you know that. <sighs> yeah. I know, I just... just know how tough it must be for you, that's all. Hey. I think it's time for somebody to go to bed. Can I sleep with you tonight? Ha <laughs> What, and I sleep in your bed? Um, yeah, I suppose waking up to One Direction will make a change. Mm. Right, you come and a kiss. Come here. Mwah. Night, sweetheart. Night. Have you up in a sack? <sighs> I think I might hit the sack with her. Really? Mm-hmm. OK. Well, in that case, I might nip out for a pint, if that's OK. Yeah. Just make sure you buy Chaz a drink. She's been so good today. Hey, and listen, please don't bang the door when you come in. I love you. Love you, too. Hello. Why have you been ignoring my calls? Because today has been flipping horrendous, OK, and it's just got worse. Hey, what's happened? Just leave me alone! I can't. I need you. Yeah? And Debbie needs you more. Please, Jess. No, I'll show you be off booking your tickets for Florida, playing happy families. What? Yeah. 
Sarah told me. It's going to be a nice little surprise. She's a sick child, Chaz. You can't punish me for that. You know what? I should tell you that it's over. But... But you need to stay with Debbie, OK, until this baby is born and until Sarah is better. And then what? And then we can be together. No, no. We, we, we can't wait that long. We don't have to. We just carry on, as we have been, OK? But Debbie must never find out. She won't. I mean it, Cameron. She can't take any more knocks. I understand. I hope to God I'm making the right decision. You are. Trust me. To get us in the mood, it's Christmas in Sydney.